welcome back to my channel. It's Caitlin here and today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul slash review video for you. I am going to be reviewing and testing out Zaffel clothing. Now if you don't know what Zaffel is, they're basically a online clothing brand. They are promoted a lot on Facebook and Instagram and you'll probably have seen them around YouTube with people trying on their bikinis and their swimwear because they're very popular for that. So I have been contacted by them numerous times to do a clothing haul in collaboration with them and purely out of interest I've decided now that I am going to try out some of their clothing. So yes, they have sent me these products but I did send them an email saying that if I was going to do it I'm going to properly test out the clothing, review it all for you and be totally honest with you guys because I know that there is a little bit of controversy surrounding Zaffle and Shein and those kind of sites. So I have a bunch of clothes for you. I'm going to let you guys know what my honest opinion is of the clothing and how it fits and how I like it or don't like it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe as well. And I will get into trying out what is in my package. So first thing which I want to quickly talk about is the Zaffle website. Overall, I didn't have too many problems with it. One issue which I did come across a few times was products being out of stock which got a little bit annoying. I'd rather be told that something is out of stock when I first see it than go ahead right to the end and then suddenly be told that I can't buy it. That kind of annoyed me and it did happen on quite a few occasions but apart from that I didn't have too many problems with the ordering process. It came pretty quickly which I was really surprised about. Also another thing which some people may or may not like is that they show their clothing on mannequins and also laid out on the floor. They don't usually show it on a model. So it's a little bit difficult to work out what size you are because you can't reference the model. But I did sometimes quite like it because they laid out the items with other items so you could see how things would work together in an outfit, which I kind of liked. So overall, didn't have too many problems with the website or ordering. I'm now going to get in and show you guys the clothing, which I picked up. So the first clothing piece which I'm going to talk about is the top which I'm wearing at the moment. I got this top in a black which is the one which I'm wearing and I also got it in a maroon colour and honestly you guys I love these tops. They are so so nice and they feel pretty good quality as well. So most of these Zaffle clothes which I got came in these kind of bags. Some of them came in just regular plastic clear bags but I kind of like this packaging, it's quite cool. So obviously I'm wearing the black one whilst I'm filming but the other one which I got is in this wine red shade. You will see them better in the try on clips but I honestly think these are going to be my new favourite go to tops. I love them so so much and considering they're so so cheap I am crazy impressed with how good quality they are. They are not see through either which I really love and at the back they tie with these long bits of material so it's just a little bit different to your regular halter neck top so I definitely do like these I think I could wear them casual or dress them up a little bit so definitely off to a good start. So the next top which I got I was so so skeptical about it coming. I was really worried that it would just look awful or it would be far too small for me. I just had a feeling that it would turn into a disaster story but I actually really like it. It is really really nice and it fits really really well surprisingly. It is an off the shoulder like bardo style top. It's cropped and it has like a tie up shoelacy style front which not gonna lie, it's a style which I don't usually attract to, but I really like this. And I got this in a size small, and I was really, really worried that it would be tiny, but it fits pretty well. And it feels like the kind of quality you would get at Misguided, New Look, H&M, those kind of places, so I am not complaining so far. So the next clothing item is kind of the first thing which I'm not so keen on. This is a white style crop top with a kind of low V front. The reason why I don't like this is just because it doesn't fit very well. For me, I feel like the proportions are all off 
and you know when you wear something and you just don't feel comfortable in it? This is kind of what it feels like on me, but I love the lace up detailing on the back. I just wish it fitted me better, but it just feels kind of awkward on my body. So the next top is another top which I'm pretty happy with. This is another off the shoulder bardo style top. I do love the design. I love how it's like a cropped tie at the waist style top. It's all undone in this clip, but I definitely will be wearing this again and I do love how summery and floaty it is. So next up, this is something which I probably will not be wearing again. I'm kind of sad because I like the idea behind it, but it just doesn't work for me, not gonna lie. I'm not too sure how to describe this, but it's basically red and white small stripes. These sleeves are like big bell sleeves. It ties at your waist or actually kind of ties at like the top of your chest to kind of cover your boobs area. You'll see it better in the try on clip. But honestly, it just didn't work that well for me and the material isn't that great. It was quite crunchy and hard to work with and it just didn't sit very nicely on my body. So yeah, I was kind of sad because I do love the colours and the pattern of this top and I thought it would work really well with like shorts and jeans and it would look really cool but it's just it's just not quite worked out how I thought it was going to work out. So now I have this black top here. This is another top which I'm just not too keen on either. It's another tie at the waist crop top style top and it's just honestly way too small for me. It doesn't cover much and it's just a little bit too revealing for my liking but it feels really good quality so I feel like if this fitted you it would be really good because it feels really good. It just doesn't fit me very well because it's a little bit too small. So now we have a bodysuit. I think this is in the small size. Honestly, I am so impressed with the length of this bodysuit. Because I am so tall, most bodysuits are too short for me and they give me a really bad wedgie. But this fits really well in terms of length. Again, like the other two items, it's a little bit too revealing for me and it doesn't give me enough material to cover my chest area. Even though I've got the smallest chest in the world, I just don't feel super comfortable and it is quite tight on the arms, so I would not be wearing this on a warm day. I would be wearing this in the winter time on a night out because it's very, very warm. The velvet material is really thick, which is good because I guess it's quite good quality, but it's just very, very hot to wear. But I do really like the style of this and I think I'll probably keep it and try and make this work. I'm so impressed with the length of it. Moving on to another item which I was so impressed with in terms of length is this blue navy play suit. It's pretty bog standard, not gonna lie, it's nothing special. It has a halter neck style top and then it just goes down and then the legs, the shorts like flare out. It has pockets at the waist and although it's nothing too crazy or it's striking or bold it fits really nicely and I can definitely style this up with accessories and bags and jackets and all that kind of thing so I'm really impressed with this and just like the bodysuit it was long enough for me and didn't give me a wedgie so so I'm pretty happy okay and then we have a dress so this dress is pretty summery I do really really like it on the only thing is it's just a little bit short for me so I would have to make sure I had some white shorts on underneath or something because it's pretty short and it would definitely show your bum if you bent over um, but it's this florally cream red flower pattern it has pretty short sleeves it's got lace detailing and I definitely think I'm gonna try and make this work although it's a little bit too short I just really like the pattern and it just feels so summery I would love to wear this to like a music festival. And finally, I have a pair of shorts which I'm so upset about. I bought these in a medium because I was reading the reviews and people were saying that they were really, really tight. So I bought a medium instead of a small and I regret it so much because these are far too big for me. I do love the style of them and the denim is so, so soft. It's not that hard crunchy denim that's really sore to wear. It's so soft, but they're just way too big for me, which is really upsetting. But I do love how they've got like the rips in the sides. I love this color of blue denim. They just don't fit me, so 
don't read the reviews, stick to the size that you think you're going to be. So those were all the clothing pieces which I picked up from Zaful. Overall, I feel like you can tell that I'm actually pretty impressed. I have ordered from Zaful before, about a year and a half ago now, and the quality of their clothing has definitely improved like crazy amounts because I was not expecting anywhere near as good quality as these items were. And I will definitely be wearing most of these items again, so you'll probably see them pop up on my Instagram or something. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it. It would make my day. And subscribe as well if you aren't already. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys.